If you are a midlife woman or you're coming up on this powerful season of growth, this is the podcast for you. Welcome to Unraveling Together. I'm Samantha Graber, also known as Dr. Sam, seasoned holistic health physician and woman in the midst of midlife's unraveling. I created Unraveling Together to help a woman understand what is happening to her during this season. In a sea of changing hormones and moods, we need a space for safe exploration, a space to enter unencumbered and where we won't be judged for our pasts nor for our anxieties about the uncertain future. Unraveling Together is the place to talk about the things we just don't talk about, but so desperately need to as women. Together, we untangle ourselves from our pasts and weave a beautiful web for a future we so deeply desire to bring to life. We do this firmly planted in the here and now. And we do this through doing the work. We do it together. You are never alone as you navigate the midlife waters. I'm here right alongside you and I bring friends. Grab a cup of chai, water, tea, or joe and let's dive in. The people who identify me as their person are women in midlife. My words resonate with those who have hit their 40s plus and are asking themselves the deeper questions in life. One such question, is this it? This three word question gets asked of just about every facet of their life. I've climbed that corporate ladder. Is this it? I've hustled away the years. Is this it? I've had the kids. Is this it? I've hitched my wagon to someone. Is this it? I've accumulated the pretty stuff. Is this it? The specifics one can ask this question of go on and on. The thread that weaves them all together is that there comes this point in life when we realize we are not okay with how things are. This not okayness can be surface or it can be fathoms deep. The deep questions of life are rarely asked outside our own head. We choke down the feelings, often aided by a glass or several of wine before we hit the sack to try to fall asleep yet again. Also, we can get up the next day and try to answer that three word question yet again. Now, if you're anything like the majority of us who ask the deeper questions of ourselves, you know that alone in your head is a scary place to look for answers. Primary reason midlife women jive with my vibe. I talk about the things we just don't talk about. I am right smack dab in the throes of midlife myself, and I'll tell you what, it has been lonely and downright confusing. As I always do, I hit the digital streets in pursuit of information to help me navigate the waters. In doing so, I realize there's a massive resource gap in the market when it comes to helping women understand what is at work during perimenopause. Now, perimenopause is the time period of up to 10 years preceding menopause. Menopause is technically something you can only realize has occurred in hindsight. Menopause is an event, and it occurs when you can count 12 calendar months or cycles during which you did not have an act of menses. In other words, if you didn't have your period for the previous 12 months, your menopause has happened. There is a massive void in the baseline of knowledge women are exposed to. This widening resource gap not only adds to the confusion and the anxiety around this time of a woman's transition, it further drives a wedge between a woman and her connection to the natural cycle of all things female. Those producing the bare bones information do so to support their agenda that is built around messaging that there is something wrong with everything we experience during perimenopause. This message is fueled by an undertone of it's complicated. And the complicated nature of it all stems from the fact that we are female. Just look at each and every normal facet of being born female. If there's a diagnosis, there's a billable code for it. Always follow the money, folks. Now, of course, in our world today, this messaging is primarily generated by, big surprise, Big Pharma, or those whom they fund directly or indirectly. Now, their agenda is to make a profit for their shareholders. That is the ultimate motivation and the number one reason all messaging they generate is suspect until proven not to be. 
Now, I recommend that even then, still give her the old side eye, just to be sure. Effectively, the message is, there must be something wrong because you have what we are going to label as symptoms. All the messages we women get throughout our lifetime are essentially that if we exhibit some sort of response or have a feeling that may bring about some discomfort or a reaction to something that may very well be a noxious stimulus, which is something that should elicit a reaction, also known as a symptom, there's something at work that shouldn't be. In essence, we shouldn't experience such things. We shouldn't feel highs and we certainly should not feel any variation of a low. We should always just be kind of in this little steady middle land of feelings. This is a messaging relayed to us women from childhood. This should be our experience as a woman. Steady and middle of the range is what the human experience is supposed to be when we have two X chromosomes. Well, <laughs> to that I say, stop shooting on us. We'll decide what we should experience, and I guarantee you this, it won't be one thing generated from your here, take this machine. Thank you very much. By the time we hit midlife, we've accumulated habits that both work for us and against us. Much of what reinforces said habits is beliefs we've picked up along the way. Now, the act of picking them up has not necessarily been conscious for the most part. The messaging has permeated every facet of our life. And when we start to realize we're living a life we just don't love, let alone like for the most part, we have this moment of reckoning that can disturb so much of what we think, do, and feel. It can be uncomfortable at best and life derailing at worst. Most of us find ourselves somewhere between the two, slowly drowning in a sea of not okayness. Thank you for joining me on the Unraveling Together podcast. Would you help a sister out and do me a quick favor? If you gained any value from this episode, please give me a five-star rating on iTunes and leave a comment so others can more easily find us. Now, if you can't leave a five-star rating, I'd love to know why. This podcast is a work in progress, as am I. Please send your feedback to hello at unravelingtogether.com so I can improve the listener experience. And if you want to dive deeper into exploring your midlife experience, consider joining the Unraveling Together community of rebellious midlife women. It is there that we roll up our sleeves and do the work. It is at the midlife point in our lives we face a critical choice. Step into our true selves vibrantly with purpose or shrink into the invisible shell society wants us to inhabit, drugged up and burned out. I know my choice, and if you've listened this far, I have a good idea yours would be the same. Unraveling Together is a resource hub, roadmap, and online coaching group curated by yours truly. Unravelers, uh, that's what I call us. We are thinkers. We are doers. We are collaborators. We are navigating this time called midlife together, for we truly believe we are stronger together. And when unravelers are in need of an assist, they have all of us there alongside them.